Oh, just as we stopped. Oh, he's a feisty guy. Oh, we got one then. Oh, that's the next one already. What is going on? Come down again to that stretch of canal that I've just uh, started fishing at. I bought the medium setup again. I think it's worth another go before we upsize. Next session will be on the big, big kit. But for now, let's get fishing. I'm sticking with the uh, lighter seven gram screw and jig head uh, on this setup to begin with. It's, uh, it allows me to fish just a little bit slower which might help if the uh, fish are a bit tentative today. We've got good clarity and I have got a newly set up uh, 15 gram screw and jig head. I used to do all of my fishing with these on the seven gram just to keep things nice and steady, nice and slow. It can really help you get some of those bites when fish are a little bit slower and a little bit more unsure and just curious of baits. Wonderful wobble to this thing today in the water. We are hoping to move down quite a bit before we really think we're going to start seeing fish. I'm hoping for a similar sort of session to last time. I've only got about an hour again. So if we can get a few fish on the bank in that time, fantastic. Let this one sink right the way down. This kind of corrugated uh, section is going to give us a, a good bit of cover for the fish. So fishing right up amongst that is always a good place to try. Just sheltered from the wind at the minute, so it's quite nice here. Just keeping it slow. And let's keep moving. Where I'll cast in, let it sink down in the depths and then walk along. Sometimes that's a uh, good way to cover some ground. Then when we find the spot that we want to fish, we can make sure that we're on the bottom, which we are. And then we can reel at the speed that we want to reel today, nice and slow, with the occasional pause. Trying to keep the bait down. Not too fast if it comes up quite a bit. We've got really good clarity in the water today. I'm starting with uh, the UV pike pattern. One of my least favorite of these Fox Rage uh, pro grubs, but we did have a reasonable bit of success on the Goldie yesterday, which admittedly I, I, I've come around to a little bit since then. We switched over to the silver, uh, silver bait fish, started getting fish straight away. He smashed up the lure, smashed the tail off, then <laughs> smashed the bait clean out of the water. Thankfully, we managed to retrieve those bits, but uh, it's not salvageable, unfortunately. So we will uh, have to replace those. I'm gonna look at buying a box of a few of the colors that I use uh, fairly often. They should keep. I only go through a few of them in a season, so I might end up gifting a few away. Keep your eyes out for that. Just walking, trailing the bait at the minute. Sometimes you get a pickup. I don't tend to get many uh, fishing like this, but it does work for some. So sometimes, especially if when what you're mostly concerned about is clearing uh, ground, then it can be worth doing. Oh, just as we stopped. Oh, he's a Feisty guy, that fella, straight in there. Oh, he flipped the hook, that's fine, that's fine. He can go, he can go. He came on a little unexpected then. From the pause, after doing that, and I just didn't set the hook, pure and simple. We were ready for him. I let a little bit of slack into the line uh, as he started pulling away. He managed to shake the hook. Could have been avoided, but uh, fish got away unscathed, unharmed, so I'm happy. And it was only, you know, about a pound anyway, so why stress about it? Really, really feisty fish. So that is uh, pretty good news that the fish are really beginning to come back on now. 
they've been slow and lethargic over the last few months and it's been hard to find fish you've been having to fish really slow going to big baits can help but you know it's not a uh, definite answer it's a good start though very promising you do get sessions <laughs> like that where that'll be the only fish i see but i'm confident we'll see something else we'll just make sure that we pull the hook in <laughs> a bit better on whatever comes not shying away from this uh uv pike though so that's good news i do love a uh, pike pattern bait not necessarily this uv one but a pike pattern bait pike patterned bait generally it's quite good though it's a hit he's still there he's following but he's not hitting i don't think yeah he's spooked so well we've seen two fish we've had hits off two fish the position of the hook might not be super ideal on this that might be why we missed that hit but two hits in about 10 minutes that's decent fishing probably less than that to be honest because about five minutes now i was just walking down to the water could be a good sign of uh, good activity using the lighter bait could be a uh, lighter jig head sorry could be a really good uh, move today and hopefully i mean we're on a 16 centimeter bait it's not massive um but it is big enough to really really entice some of the really big fish or at least discourage some of the smaller fish from time to time although those first two fish we probably had a uh, a total of three or four pounds out uh, between the two of them so <laughs> clearly we're not getting monsters yet i moved down and say so we're not even to the area that i wanted to fish yet so to so have had two hits within the first you know 50 meters of walking is really good we've just got to hope that we get a few more and hopefully a few bigger fish too occasionally we need to make sure that we're getting a bit of depth to the lurks if the fish are holding a little bit deeper still we need to make sure that they see the bait but if the fish are hanging in a little bit closer today that could be a good sign that they're going to be hanging around those uh, lily pads that i'm so fond of fishing and definitely if you're just getting into pike fishing look for features like that reeds and lilies that you can fish around don't necessarily focus about getting deep and fishing into them if you've got light gear especially but as a uh, kind of first place to target look for those weedy areas that you can comfortably fish around fish slow uh, fish baits of a medium size and you'll probably have some pretty good luck we're coming up to some uh, what looks like feature here overhanging grass and such also a bit of food with bugs and stuff hanging in for smaller fish which can encourage some of the bigger fish to be around areas like that so another little area to focus on there is not necessarily features in the water features over the water or near the water if the fishing's anything like it has been already in the next hour we should have had a couple of fish we do run into a slightly shallower section in a moment which is not where i want to be fishing today i don't want to be fishing super deep but i want to be down to about five or six feet no great reason except uh it provides a little bit extra kind of cover and kind of security for the fish or they feel a little bit safer anyway especially if they can't see me oh nice bed of uh, lilies right in front of us take a little step back from these cast over them let ourselves drift down i want to fish amongst them not into them we can go over them or between two lots that's ideal just going over them for now don't see anything there Let's try to cast from the other direction another big bed right here in front of me
nice little gap between these uh this bed here and then we should be able to cast kind of along them shocked there's nothing hanging in there This corner again here, a little bit of feature with the stuff hanging over. There's the edge of a steel um, margin of some sort. So nice and steady across that. Ah, bit of a surprise, I thought there might be one in that. Any major difference with the areas that I've been in and the area that I'm in now is I've got a lot of, um, a lot of cover from trees above me. Uh, blocking the shade, uh, blocking the sun right now and providing a lot of shade. It may be that fish don't want that today. They want the sun. Thankfully, around the corner, it's going to be fully in the sun. And we can see if that makes a difference. That also starts heading into the areas that actually want to be fishing today. And hopefully the areas where we're going to catch loads of fish. Big one today would be nice. But I did specifically stick with the medium stuff. Uh, because those three fish from last session, I don't think that's a rarity for this sort of time of year. You know, an hour down on the uh, on the canal when it's particularly active. Three fish, pretty decent. We can definitely do better. I don't know if we'll do better today. And so we had potential for two. We lost one. We didn't convert the other, so perhaps not. We are still in those shallower waters around about four feet just around the corner it's going to get down to about six in the margins well and truly getting into the sections that i kind of wanted to fish thought were going to be a bit more active a little bit further away from kind of the bridges and things like that just to make make sure they're kind of quieter sections of the canal so again a bit of cover again here yeah, lily's making their way up but we're you know about two foot deeper uh, than we have been so they're still quite a bit under the water still it's that sort of extra cover that I want the extra depth will help too we're on the bottom it's a nice steady slow retrieve in we're hoping for a fish no fish <laughs> I'm going to walk this one down just past this section of uh, reeds that are slowly beginning to come up. Nice little lily pad section in front of us again here. Little flick over those. We don't need to absolutely welly it when we're only fishing right in front of us, really. <laughs> Missed him then. He came back. Oh man. Oh. That's what I mean. You know, I got a bit complacent then. Bit complacent and I whipped the bait out too fast. Cost me a fish, but you learn from it and you carry on. You hope I haven't scared him off too much, and we hope that he'll come back. Got a little bit overhanging here, so I can walk across to here, step in a little bit closer, and go for a retrieve here without fear of spooking the fish quite so much. Right on this corner, maybe. Again, didn't feel like a big fish. That's pretty common this time of year after, you know, a good spawn and whatnot. 
when the weather starts picking up again the fish start getting active and feeding it tends to be a lot of the smaller jacks um, that you see first doesn't mean that's all we're going to catch doesn't mean we're definitely going to catch but it can often be an opportunity to catch quite a lot of fish in a single session if i miss my next hit i'm going to go for the um the other rig i'm not too fussed about the color right now we've definitely proven that uh, the fish are interested in this uv pike however the extra weight um, and the slightly farther back hook uh, on the body of the bait should help with hook up we've well, we had now four hits one of which we hooked up into so probably four fish that have potentially missed out on all of which could have potentially have been addressed by putting on a uh, maybe a slightly bigger hook or maybe a hook further back down the body of the bait which we were going to get through um, some of these reeds in a bit and we'll switch over and we'll see if that makes a difference. We've got a gold uh, goldie set up, which is the um, pattern I was using yesterday to begin with. Worked reasonably well. We'll see how it fares today. I had hoped we'd have had a few by now though. Actually on the bank, something a little bit interesting. Instead, you're gonna have to put up with me talking and not catching. We'll walk along the margin a bit here. Occasionally letting a little bit of line out. Slow down the walking because I'm Bring them out onto the surface. Oh, we got one then. Oh, but we haven't really pulled into this fish either. So we're going to net them quickly. Oh, he's engulfed to this bait. Come in that and in. Well, guys, definitely no monster. Nice little one to begin with. He's uh, he's not too bad. Really good condition. He's got a couple of leeches on him, which we're going to flick off for him. If I can find them again. Yeah, I think they're all gone. Now, lovely little fish. He wasn't even hooked. He was just gripping onto that bait. Something fierce. Let's get him home. Let's catch another. So we did actually hook into that one. Either just as we were walking, uh, trailing the bait, or um, when I stopped to pull it in. Regardless, it was only small. It wasn't really hooked. We were just holding the bait. Uh, did mean he unhooked really easily, really nicely, and got him back super quick. And that's the next one already. And they're all flipping so, so feisty. So feisty. Oh, and he's in the net. Literally a second ago, I cast in after catching that other. This was slightly bigger. He's, uh, he's got a little nick inside. He thrashed really hard, but we're going to get him straight back because he is raring to go. Nice little fish. Happy with that. Let's get him home. Well, it may not usually work for me, but it's working for me today for some reason. Walking the bait along uh, with me on a stretch canal like this, which is like 16 miles of fishable water we've got. Um, you know, there's a lot of ground to cover. So actually, being able to cover some of it pretty quickly just by trailing the bait can work wonders. And I'm going to stick to that just until I get to this section of reeds, which I'm going to fish around a bit more. One more, I'll be pretty happy to be honest. To be honest, 
two fish in an hour is pretty good. You've just got to get uh, these days that are kind of really active. They come few and far between sometimes, so you, uh, you need to make the most of them when you get them. They certainly seem active today. So we're going to catch a few if we can. The um, pretty common size to come out of this canal, certainly where I normally fish, is about five or six pounds. So the ones we've been getting kind of on my average is quite small, but I'm not going to grumble at a couple of fish. No way am I going to be annoyed about catching. Shame we didn't get that first one now. Don't feel like on uh, either of those fish that are walking along like that, I don't feel like I've had a good hit, a uh, good uh, strike into them at all. My hook sets have been probably lucky, I would say. They've only been lightly hooked, really easy uh, to unhook all of them. And the fish are incredibly active, incredibly aggressive, which is kind of put me thinking that actually bigger baits may not be the way to go at the minute. Um, if the fish are so aggressive, it means you, or I find, that you end up with a lot more smaller fish just being generally annoyed at anything moving past them. So whilst it's probably not great for uh, catching the bigger fish, you can get numbers, but you can also start experimenting with other baits, top waters. And, you know, perhaps even something smaller, something with a rat, or maybe, you know, like me, I tend to use these curly uh, grub tails quite a bit. Try a paddle tail for a change. Uh, play, play it closer up in the, um, uh, closer up to the surface. See if you get any interest on that as well. The curly tails are just an easy, easy bait to fish, if you ask me though. You just flick it in like that. Wait for it to head to the depth that you want for me today near the bottom and that is purely so I can start bringing it up and hopefully when it gets near the top near the surface a fish has followed it and a fish is ready to go last section I'm probably going to fish before turning around loads of lilies again here which are typically the areas that I like to focus on, but perhaps they're not as established as they need to be because it's been the only place today that we haven't seen fish come out of. Or at least obviously come out of. So cast in. Maybe flip it so the spool lets out line. Thumb control that to let line out as we move along. That's gonna let it drop down, maintain depths, let a little bit more line out and effectively fish a little bit slower whilst we're walking. Then when we're at a spot that we either need to or want to get the bait in, little guy then, only tiny, missed the hook. Missed it again. See if he's still there. Think he might have gone this time. Last cast. Yeah, I think on that second hit, he probably saw me. And that's gonna be the major thing that spooks fish. Fish are still clearly active. That fish was so aggressive the way that he came at that thing twice, but he just missed it. 
It looked like he had the bait on the second one. But not enough to get the hook in him. <laughs> yep, definitely some fish around here. A little shoaling minnow or something then, a few of them. Perhaps they feel safer around a UV, UV pike. But then, you know, also the kind of concept of safety in numbers, whatever the actual saying is. So maybe they thought, oh, hang up, that guy might not beat me, but might get eaten instead of me. A little bit harder to walk along here. I'm determined to get another one from around here. That said, I think this is one of the spots that we actually didn't see a fish. Um, on our walk down, a lot more surprisingly closer to where the boats more. Little pike there, had a little whip, missed it. Again, I think that my positioning on this rigging is less than ideal. Let's stick the Goldie on and stop whinging. We've got a 15 gram screwing jig head on this and the hook is exactly the same, but it hangs just maybe two centimeters further back. Since one of the big issues I've been having uh, is fish not kind of getting the hook on their first hit. The obvious answer is move the hook further back. We've got a much, much faster sink time now. And we are going to be encouraged to retrieve a little bit faster because our drop is going to be much faster too. That could walk in our favor for, you know, walking along like I have been. I don't necessarily need to uh, let the bait hang out and drop the faster walk speed. It's going to hold its depth a bit better. Here we go. Stop here. Just hope for another hit so we can prove that sometimes just little tweaks like this can be all it takes. They're everywhere. Right, right, tucked in under the margins. Another one of those little scrappy jack pike. He didn't get the hooks either. <laughs> so yeah, maybe these super, super close in margins are worth a little more attention today. Or would have been worth a little bit more attention today. It's a bit late now, unfortunately. We are storming back to the car. Oh, deadly fish. Was not ready for that at all then. Let's see if he's still there. Well, guys, thanks for joining me again. It's getting just a little bit too dark now to carry on fishing, so I'm packing up. I was getting hit right up until the end today. Like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.